Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi and hello everyone out there. I'm Madam Yusnaliza. I'm going to discuss final exam question uh, July 2020 question 4 MFRS 102 inventories. This is under FAR 210 financial accounting 3 topic 4. Let's start. Question 4. Let's see the information given. Vision Berhad involved in supplying decorative, decorative uh, lamps, which are type A and type B lamps. The following are the details of the inventories for the year ended 30th June 2020. So the year end is 30th of June 2020. Alright. Let's look at what are other information given. Okay. Invoice price per unit for type A. This is actually the information which are relevant to calculate the cost. Right? And then you are given um, information also for invoice price or the cost price of type B. Handling charges which is also part of the cost of purchase. Right? And these might be relevant to calculate the cost of inventory. And then these are the information on the unit purchased during the year. The one that was purchased throughout 1st of July 2000, sorry, 2019 and 30th of June 2020 in between that. So the units purchased was 35 and 30,000. That was the unit sold for type A. So if you see the difference, you can see a difference of 5,000. And that was representing the unsold unit, right? And if you see here, type B, what you purchased was uh, 10,000. But at the end of the year, there are 6,000 remaining. So uh, the unit sold was 6,000 actually and 4,000 is the remaining units or unsold units. And now on top of that, you are given the estimated selling price. Estimated selling price is actually going to be part of your NRV. Recall what is NRV. And for type A and type B respectively. This is for type A and this is for type B. So let's move to the next one. Next, this is a requirement. With reference to MFRS 102 inventories, you are asked to define inventory that is for three months. So, um, if you can recall, what are inventories? This is just a general definition given in the MFRS. I'm going to a little bit, uh, how to say, I'm going to explain this a little bit for you. It is actually held for sale in the ordinary course of business. So the word ordinary cost of business here means in the normal uh, course of business activities. In the normal course of business activities, right? For example, when you deal with buying goods from your supplier and later reselling it to your customer. So goods that you purchase, finished goods that you purchase from your supplier and you buy it and you resell to get a profit. Maybe that is actually the one that are considered under health for sale. Okay, there's one more which is also under health for sale. You normally have this in the manufacturing business. Um, well, this one is more for retail, 1A, 1B is for manufacturing where this is the finished goods that you produced in the meaning out of your manufacturing activities so finished goods these are all also the one considered as health or sale in the ordinary course of business you manufacture at the end you have the finished product that finished product is the one that you uh, are actually trying to sell to the customer as part of your um, effort towards generating future economic benefits in the form of sales. Next, there are also assets that are in the process of production for such sale, right? To uh, be able to sell the goods, finished goods, you may also come across some inventories that is in the making of that finished goods that is in the process of Next is the, in the form of material or supplies that you will consume in the 
production process. Yeah, or in the process of production, right? Yeah, or maybe in the rendering of services. These are items like raw materials. Maybe you are trying to uh, manufacture biscuit, so those raw materials that are going to be used in the production of a biscuit or maybe finished product might not be biscuit. Let's say you are just talking about some salted fish. The raw material is the fish, but the finished product of your industry might be the salted fish. Right? So raw materials yeah, are being consumed in the production process. Next. This, you are asked to state the reasons for writing down the cost of inventory to net realizable value. Why do company write down the inventories that were on that were disclosed at cost to net realizable value? What costs uh, the fact that your inventory as per your record does not reflect your net realizable value what are the reason so the reason for writing down the cost of inventory the one that was in the dry balance right the cost of inventory at the end of the year do you at the end of the year you go and uh, do your valuation of inventory and you see that there are a write down normally because the inventories have been damaged due to whatever reason maybe due to flood due to natural disaster, due to COVID-19 you know, issues, yeah? uh, maybe have become wholly or partially ob obsolete, completely obsolete, no longer uh, demanded or partially obsolete. Yeah, no one is uh, uh, maybe demanding for that product anymore and there's no way that you can sell it. So you need to go, um, go and write it off. So the reason that you write down might be this or number three their selling price have declined you, know, you cannot sell at the price you used to sell and because of that you may have to sell it at a cheaper price right a very cheap price and that shows that you need to write down your inventories that indicator so selling price decline wholly or partially obsolete yeah mm -hmm. And then the decline in the selling price and also the issue of damage. Next, determine the value. You have to calculate what are the valuation of inventories for in the uh, company Vision Berhad as at the end of the year as prescribed or as required or as following uh, the uh, MFRS 102 inventories. Okay, if you can still recall the valuation of inventory stated that inventory shall be measured at the lower, which one is lower, of course, and the net realizable value. If you have two values, you need to take the one that is low, lower. So meaning that first you need to know what is the cost of inventory before we go and calculate what are the costs and then calculate what are the net realizable value. Let us extract some of the information from the question again. So these are from the question. You are given this table, yeah, the table that has the detail on the cost of inventory for type A and type B. And also another table on the purchase units versus the units sold, right? You are given that. You are also given this, the estimated selling price for type A and type B that are uh, 850 and 900 respectively. So let us just recall because we want to talk about the cost of inventory here. We want to talk about cost of inventory. Let's recall what our cost of inventory is as per MFRS 102. These consist of or compo uh, that, uh, comprise of um, cost of purchase. You need to know what is cost of purchase. Among cost of purchase might be the case that you need to go and check out. Uh, the MFRS 102 but this here clearly shows there is a some element of cost of purchase the invoice price per unit and the handling charges per unit cost of conversion cost of converting the raw material into the finished goods what are those costs of converting that into the finished product so that, those costs of, of conversion you can check the details from your MFRS 102 or maybe the notes given by your lecturers right 
Next, uh, whatever other cost incurred, cost of purchase, yeah, cost of purchase may include also things like rebate that are being deducted from the cost of purchase, or maybe discount they are deducted from the cost of purchase. Cost of conversion is the cost to convert or to transform the uh, raw materials into the finished goods. Those whatever cost that you may have to incur that are within the requirement of FRS 102. Other costs incurred, whatever other costs that you may have to incur to bring the inventories, so the cost of transporting the inventories to the present location, yeah, yeah, and condition. So more on the maybe the cost of bringing your inventories to deliver the inventories from the place that you imported it from, yeah, to the uh, location that you want it to be. So you need to go and consider. Uh, this uh, whether you have free on board shipping and so forth what you learned earlier right so there are the uh, component of the cost of inventories be careful that some costs are excluded from the cost of inventories so you need to check that uh, in your uh, MFRS 102 and your notes right next after you know what is cost of inventories try and calculate the cost of inventory in your case you are given the cost of inventories um, per unit. So how do you get that? You just total up the one you have here. There are two components. So cost of inventories per unit is 920 for type A and 640 for type B. After you have got that, you are going to take that figure and multiply it or times with the closing inventories in unit. So earlier I told you that closing inventories refers to the unsold inventories at the end of the year. So our unsold inventories simply is the different in, with what you have during the year minus uh, what you sold during that particular year. So it is 5,000 here, the different here, 4,000. So you take that 5,000 and 4,000 to get the cost of inventory, which is to compare later what are the costs. So to know the cost, you will take that uh, calculation where we are trying to calculate something that is based on cost first. So you take the closing inventory, you will multiply it with the cost of inventories per unit. So you are given cost per unit. So if you multiply 5,000 times 920, 4,000 times 640, you'll get the closing inventories at cost to be 4.6 million and 2.56 million respectively okay are you done not yet so your next task is to calculate this what are your n rv your net realizable value so your net realizable value yeah again just recall your closing inventories just now was 4.6 and 2.56 respectively that was according to the type now we are going to calculate the cal the uh, closing inventories based on a net realizable value before we can do the comparison so net realizable value if you have recalled what you learned is simply is estimated selling price yeah deducted with cost to sell and also deducted with cost to complete so in your information, if you extract the information earlier, right, you will see that they only have one item, which is the um, estimated selling price of 850 and 900 respectively. So if you have more, then you need to go and consider more. Let's say you have some cost to complete or any cost of trying to repair the inventory so that uh, that can be at a saleable condition. So that might have to be also considered, right? Repairing that to ensure that it is available for whatever condition you de desired it to be. So the total NRV or net will per unit, not in terms of amount yet, just per unit, is 850. You will take the closing inventories that you have already decided earlier in units 5000 right so you multiply with 850 the nrv and you take 4000 multiply with 900 
that will give you the closing inventories and the closing inventories at net level value is 4.2 million for type A so for type B it is 3.6 now come your next task your next task is to make a decision uh, between the two uh, valuation figure that you have one is valuation at cost which is 4.6 million for type A and 4.25 million for type B if you compare the lower between those two figures under type A 4.6 versus 4.25 you would see that the lower between the two figure is N R V. so it will be measured at the net realizable value for type A. For type B, if you compare this, so this one, this is your wording, which is net realizable value. But for type B, if you compare this cost of inventories at the end of the year versus the cost of inventory at NRV at the end of the year, you will see that the cost exceed the a cost is less than the net relative value so therefore it will be measured at cost so in total the total inventories or valuation inventories will be a, a combination of nrv and cost so however in total it is 6.810 million because you add the one under type a with the one under type b so the total is 6.81 million that's it you are not asked to explain about the cost of inventory or anything about accounting treatment just the calculation that's it i hope you will, you will learn a lot from this session and continue watching more of my videos in my next post i'll see you and i'll see you um assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh